Hello, this is Monica. I decided to make an additional video. I'll be probably making quite a few of these uh, based on um, some of the most frequently asked questions. And this will just go into like an additional resources, um, either folder or module. This one is on uh, some clarification about using the Alt tab buttons when you want to toggle between windows. Also explaining how I am able to um, make it look so nice, <laughs> you know, with so many different windows going on and how the um, the end viewer sees what I see. And I've described using the Alt tab, but um, that's difficult to explain without showing you. So I'm going to do a kind of a combination of what I covered in Module 1, a little bit of some of what I covered in Module 4, and a few explainer graphics, and um, hopefully this makes sense. And if not, just let me know. So. When you're in your theater here, in your control room, and you're getting ready to do your screen sharing, when you want to do screen sharing, a slideshow presentation, you go up and you hit a screen share. And this could be, you could hit it before you start broadcasting, so it's ready to go before you hit the green button below. Or this could be like in the middle of your presentation, you've been doing something else, and now you're switching to screen sharing. Click on screen sharing, and you're going to have an option to choose some different things. Um, one of them is entire screen, <laughs> and then it'll just be a list of different windows and different things that you have open. If you have your presentation, your PowerPoint presentation or your Google Slide presentation already launched in a full screen mode, it will um, that will be one of the options. It doesn't matter how you have it launched, uh, but if you've already got it there as um, in present mode, it will be one of the options from the control room. So you'll see there, you can do um, PowerPoint slideshow, and that's my full screen. I've already launched it. So I'm going to select that one, and then I'm going to click Share. Then my entire screen looks like this. So now it's like, oh my gosh, I can't see my control room. What am I going to do? I don't. This is like my whole screen. This is what I see. This is also what my audience sees because I'm sharing this PowerPoint. And this is because I went full screen. So I do talk about being able to share in just um, a presentation window so that the whole screen doesn't isn't the whole broadcast. It's just in a separate window. And what the audience sees is still the whole screen, but you get to see what's going on in the background. So what I do is I click the Alt tab on my computer, and this pops up. And by that, I mean I hold down the Alt key while holding down the Alt key, I click on Tab. And I keep my finger on the Alt key while I tab through each one of these little boxes. So it'll tab, 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 tab. And when I get to the window that I want to see, I'll just let go. And that's where I will end up. So if I have this going full screen, I can hit Alt Tab and then get back either to my control room. So that first one in the upper right corner is the full screen of the presentation. The second one over on the top row is my control room. And I want to get back to that. That's how I would do it. And the uh, viewers do not see this. They do not see this little pop-up. This is just a way for me to get back to what I'm doing without disrupting the flow of my presentation. Now, if you decide to present entire screen, um, which there's only one time I recommend that, and that's if your entire presentation is going to be slideshow and you don't need to see anything else. You're just going to toggle, 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 like perhaps you've done it so much that you don't need notes or your notes are on front of you in paper and you're never going to switch to camera, you're never going to do anything else. Um, you're just going to launch a slideshow full screen and then you're just going to go forward with the arrow buttons, which is super easy. That's the, actually one of the easiest ways to do a presentation. Um, then, it, then sharing your entire screen is um, probably your best option. But that's really the only time I think it is. And just to clarify, because I use full screen and entire screen, and sometimes that can be confusing. When I say share your entire screen, I'm talking about in the Google Hangout or YouTube Live control room, the option of in sharing the entire screen. You'll see it right here. It actually says right underneath there, entire screen. When you share your entire screen, that is everything. That's not the same thing as launching a Google Slideshow or a PowerPoint in full screen mode and then coming here and then choosing that as what you want to share. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. I wanted to clarify that because you can you can do a PowerPoint, you can do a slide, Google Slideshow in full screen, but that's not the same thing when I say don't share your entire screen from the control room. 
this is the entire this is what I mean when I say the entire screen from the control room so anyway I wanted to clarify that so when I hit the uh, let me go back so when I alt tab and I get to the little um, the control room the the live feed YouTube live feed control room see how it has a white box around it and okay that's when I will let go of my alt tab I'll end up here okay so see in the background I'm still showing the full screen and this is my pop-up window to me showing me what everyone else is seeing so they're seeing that screen that took up my whole screen <laughs> this is my control room showing me this is this is what you're broadcasting right now Monica so what's nice about this is you can um, do that with anything so if I were to want to if I want to stop screen sharing or anything like that I can um, do all that here from the control room if I click entire screen instead of PowerPoint so that's that first one there when I do that my audience is going to see everything I see which is going to include this control room box here so it's going to create kind of like this cascading effect so uh, if I do um, select entire screen and then click on share this happens for a few seconds because it's showing you, uh, it's showing that I'm showing what I'm showing what I'm showing what I'm showing so it's like it continues like that and so for the using the alt tab is actually a way to avoid that when you come back so usually when this happens I just quickly find what I'm trying to share which is usually one of these tabs down at the bottom of my um, computer I'm like okay oh there's Firefox let me click on that real quick and then I launch that and then my entire screen is uh, my internet which is what I was trying to show but if I wanted to get back to that and I don't want to have to go through this cascading effect again I'm gonna do the alt tab so there's what I was trying to share now now everybody's seeing this and so I'm like okay cool but for a few seconds they see that that cascade if you do entire screen and which I mean if you don't mind it it's okay I see a lot of presenters do that but the way to avoid that is to use the alt tab so I'll hit down alt tab and then I will click on um, Google Hangouts or whatever I need to get to and um, while nobody's going to see that I'm doing that it's just going to look like I went from this sharing of my uh, internet back to uh, whatever I'm going to do next because I'm going to click on alt tab I'm going to get to my control room in there I'm going to make the decision to stop share turn on my camera change to a presentation whatever it is I'm going to do but they're not going to see me do that because I'm using this feature so I actually created a video because that's I can explain it with slides <laughs> but I wanted to show you exactly how I do it so I recorded myself doing this you'll see this in video uh, 5 I believe of module 4 but I took a few bits and pieces of that um, to include in this little extra video that I'm doing for you right now just to show you so basically you hold down the alt key while you are tapping that tab key to toggle between programs if you have a lot of windows and a lot of programs open this could take some time <laughs> all right so I actually am going to um, merge this with the other video I created and let me get that get to that very quickly here so I would hold down the alt key and then I would click tab and this would happen I would just tab 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 through everything and as I'm doing that nobody sees that so that's how I'm able to go kind of go through what each little open window that I have and then the viewers they don't see that pop up there they don't see me doing what I'm showing here right now so here's the video I was talking about earlier I'm holding down the alt tab key and then like with my uh, pointer finger and then with my ring finger I hit tab and then I'm just tabbing 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 and you'll see that it's going through each one of the windows I have open when I get to the one that I want to share I will stop and the viewers don't see that so unless you're doing your whole entire screen and you're showing them how to do it then they'll probably see it so once I get back to where I want which I think in this video example I'm trying to get to the second um, it was my notes the second box there on the top row I let go and there that's what I was trying to get to <laughs> alright guys hopefully that makes sense if not please let me know um, play with it practice with it and that's how you'll get really um, that's how you'll get good at it um, it took me a while to figure it out but now that I use it I use it all the time it's it hasn't been an issue for me at all however if the thought of trying to do that or learn that is just too much for you 
then there, you do have other options. I would just recommend when you're going to um, launch a full presentation, just don't go full screen. So um, here's a little explainer graphic. It's in the, I believe it's in the one of the albums of our Facebook group, but it's also in the drive, the resources drive under um, graphics. And then there's a folder in there that has instructional graphics. And there's two different folders in there, instructional graphics for you, the, the students, the course members, and there's a folder with instructional graphics um, for your viewers. So if you ever wanted to use one of my little explainer graphics in one of your presentations, those images are in there for you to use as well. So if you use PowerPoint and you don't want to go full screen, then click on the slideshow tab and then go to slideshow setup, setup slideshow and then this little box will pop up and then you choose how you want to present. Full screen is usually the default, which is the one that's um, marked on here. I would select the one in the middle, browse by an individual, it says window. That's gonna open up your presentation in its own little window and that will be one of the choices you have to share from the control room. Then, um, and I would actually make sure it's the advanced slides is on manually because then otherwise it's doing it on its own. I always like to do it manually. And then just click um, OK. If you're going to be doing Google slide presentations, then up in the upper right, you'll see the present button. If you just click present, it's going to present from whatever slide you're currently on and it's going to go full screen. That's the default. If you don't want to do that, you actually maybe want to start from a different slide, you want to use speaker notes, or you actually want to do the same thing I just explained with PowerPoint and present in a new window, like its own separate little window, then that's the option you would make. But you have those choices up under the present button if you just click the drop down arrow. So hopefully these suggestions were helpful and it's a little bit more clear, but if not, definitely ask and we will go over them um, on a future call. Thanks, guys.